Hi, welcome to our channel UI Path Boards. In this video, we are going to learn about different ways of creating variables in UI Path Studio. You might have already learned about variables and what, are, what is its use and um, how many types of values can be saved in the variables and all right in our previous videos. If not, you can use the below links which I provided in the description of this video. Please follow them. And I would like you to request to subscribe our channel for more videos um, if you want uh, UiPath tutorials with better uh, um, explanation with few examples, right? Now, let us jump on to this part. See, there will be an interview question, straight away interview question asking for different ways. How many ways are there to create a variable in UiPath Studio? The answer is simple. There are four different ways to create variables in UiPath Studio. One is from the body of an activity, next from expressions, next from properties panel, next final one is from variables panel. This everyone might be aware of variables panel. Maybe these also unknowingly you people might be following this but not sure that this is also a way in creating a variable. Let me give in detail explanation showing the same in UiPath Studio. So now let us take a new sequence. I'll show you creating variables example. Okay. So, so as a general practice, best practice, give an annotation. This sequence is used to show different ways of creating variables. So always, as I suggest you every time, whenever we are uh, trying to learn something through videos, not only my videos, any videos, do practice along with the video so that you will learn the stuff whatever you are looking for and it will be in your brains all the time and you will give your best during your interviews. So now let me show you. Let us just add an assign activity. Now see in assign activities there is a field here so you can just click on this, right click on this and there you can see create a variable, right? So this is an activity, in activity, body of the activity, you can right click and there you can have a, an option to create a variable. So this way you can create a variable, str say uh, name just enter that's it if you go to variables panel and see it is already created got it so now let us let me show this this is one type one type first one from body of an activity so in body of an activity just right click and select create variable give the name of the variable and it will be automatically created here and then if you see here, variable type and scope will be automatically created. Understood? So now let me show one magic here. I'm having a do while loop here. And I'm going to create one assign activity inside the body of an activity. So this is a body of an activity and I'm going to create a variable right click create variable str say name name is already there say age right so this is created now let us go to variables one and if you see here str age automatically it has taken string variable type scope if you see the scope being changed, it is taking the body of this do while scope. 
whereas the one which we created has taken the creating variable scope that means whenever you are going to create a variable using this first method like creating a variable using in the body of the active team it will automatically the default scope will be the minimum minimum container so in for this activity the minimum container is body and whereas there are different containers do while is there body is there and the sequence creating uh, variables example this so three out of this this is the minimum one for this activity whereas for this one this is the minimum one right in this container these two are there right this is one and this is one so for this assign this is the container minimum container you got it right so by default string is the variable type in any of this um, uh, creation i mean whenever we are creating a variable by default string will be there and if at all the value is already provided and based on the value it will automatically arrange give it, it will automatically take the variable type whereas scope it will take always the minimum container got it right let us move on to the second part from expressions now it will be create there is a one more way where we can create from expressions so let us have an activity let me let me remove delete this let me delete this i'll have a say simple assign activity now if you see in properties panel sorry here if, if, if you see this is a expression one in expression just right click use this and create variable give some value str say suppose location enter so it will automatically create your variable as to your location and it will not always take the minimum scope understood now let us do something here let us have a do while and then let us have an assign in this and we already have this str name right let us use your name which is already there let me let me just change this to int okay just for letting you know something so i just changed this variable type to int integer and now i i am showing how to uh, give um, uh, create a variable using this expression in expressions space just right click on it and you know how to do this right create variable now i am going to give some int name okay now what will happen it will create a variable uh, by default it has to go for string right string variable type right with a minimum container since i kept this in do while body right let's see how it works okay go to variables int how come it went to int 32 it is supposed to get a string as default right no if at all the value is already there it acts it will be created according to the value since this is integer here when we create a new variable based on the value here it it's been updated with the variable type accordingly understood so now this is one one way so we have learned two ways in creating variables one is from body of an activity and another is from expressions got it and now third one is from properties panel just see here let me have a assign activity and go to your properties here just click on any of this value or to right click 
create variable that's it str country that's it so just go to your variables panel and by default it is giving string right got it so three ways one is in the body of the activity another one is the expression of the activity and the other one is in properties panel this is the properties panel okay now let us move on to the other one from variables panel see there is there is a tab here at uh, bottom of the ui path studio when you click here you can get this space to create a variable so name you are supposed to give a name let me give it as int salary and variable type so by default variable type will be string so you are supposed to change according to the need and the scope okay so these are the four types four different ways to create a variable got it and by default the variable type will be the string this is an important um, uh, interview question when you create a variable what will be the default variable type it will be always string the default variable type will be string and if you are going through the different if you are going to create the variable using body of an activity or expression or properties panel in all these scenarios it it might take it might it might update the uh, variable type according to the value if at all it is already provided got it and if it is in body of the activity or if if it is um, in any of the first three it will be the scope will be always minimum container got it it is very straightforward and clear right i hope you got this video you got this uh, concept of this video and you just uh, you you can straight away answer this interview question so if you like this video please pass on to this to your colleagues and friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel if you are a new visitor to our channel please do subscribe for more details 